The first robust clinical trial looking at Ozempic in people with type 1 diabetes and obesity was just published, and the data looks really convincing. I'm a diabetes doctor, and let me tell you all about it. First, let's look at study design. This was a 26-week trial consisting of 72 adults across four clinical sites. Each patient had type 1 diabetes, a BMI of 30 or more, and were already on an automated insulin delivery system, meaning they were already getting pretty good care. Half of the patients were randomized to Ozempic, eventually titrated up to one milligram, and the other half were randomized to a placebo. Also important is the fact that this study was actually not funded by pharma. Instead, it was funded by the nonprofit Breakthrough T1D, although Novo Nordisk did supply the study drug and placebo. First, let's look at the primary outcome of this trial, which is what percent of patients in each group achieved all three of the above goals, time in range greater than 70%, time spent low less than 4%, and at least 5% body weight loss. Out of the patients randomized to Ozempic, 36% of them achieved all three of those goals. In the placebo group, zero of those patients achieved all three of those goals. Looking at each item independently, after adjusting for variables, the Ozempic users' A1C was lowered by 0.3% more, their time in range was 8.8 percentage points more, and their body weight reduction was 8.8 kilograms more, which translates to 19.4 pounds of weight. The group randomized to Ozempic also noticed a 30% reduction in insulin use by the end of the study. In terms of side effects, over 50% of patients assigned to Ozempic did experience some GI side effects versus just 25% in the placebo group. Of note, there was one serious adverse event that occurred in the Ozempic group, but it wasn't severe enough to prevent the patient from continuing in the trial. In fact, out of all 36 patients that were randomized to Ozempic, only two of them discontinued the study drug, which is pretty similar to other trials using high-dose Ozempic and obesity trials. My friend, Dr. Viral Shah, one of the co-authors of the study, concluded that Ozempic in people with type 1 diabetes with a BMI of more than 30 was found to be very effective in improving time and range, reducing body weight, and it appears to be safe and durable. Other studies looking at Mount Jaro and Ozempic and type 1 diabetes are still ongoing, and I'll keep you posted on those results as they become available.